Hi, this is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. Have you got a chance to watch the 2020 new release uh, preview? If you have, and uh, you probably um, already see some of uh, uh, my new coming um, design. So in today's tutorial, I am going to show you something else. So have you watched this tutorial, the last tutorial? You know, um, in my tutorial, every tutorial that I create, I always think about something unique and something that I can share with all my viewers. So I create this tutorial. If you haven't got a chance to take a look, make sure you check uh, tutorial 146-1. Okay, and then that you can learn how I can make uh, those uh, hummingbird metallic shining. So, and then I also um, create a sea turtle, right? So in, in today's tutorial, I don't like to repeat the same thing. So I was kind of thinking, what else I can come out with the different kind of design for the turtle lover? So the turtle lover are out there. Everybody just say turtle, turtle. They want to see the turtle car. So and then that's why I um I was uh, doing some research and I come out this idea. I think you are going to love it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to create a car that you can hear the ocean wave. Is that awesome? So that's started. You ready? So if you like this car already, I am going to show you something else. Ta-da! This is the car. Look. You can hear the ocean wave. So I am going to show you how to create this car. It's actually seeing true shaker car. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to step by step to show you how to create this car. And like I say, the new release are coming soon. And in the tutorial, I am going to offer you 10 extra percent coupon code. Make sure you mark down that coupon code because I'm not going to show you that code every tutorial I create. So in the, the June or July promotion is coming soon. The whole online store going to be 20% off for the, all the regular items and uh, plus Plus, in this tutorial, you get the other 10% off discount. So that's 30% off for the total online order, the regular prices only. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one. If uh, um, you are the first time watch uh, Local King's uh, tutorial, welcome. This is the channel that I'm sharing all the great tips, all the stamping um, techniques, and the endless creation. I hope you like it. And make sure you subscribe to Local King YouTube channel and that way and make sure to turn on that little bell so you won't miss any new coming tutorial. Okay, so that's a go through the material list. Of course, I'm going to use a brand new design. The one is coming soon. It's called the Riding the Way. Who doesn't love the sea turtle? I love sea turtle. So this is the combo set come with uh, one big stamp and also the two matching uh, two uh, two die cut. They also come with the outline die and a detail die. And uh, please check uh, my other tutorial. There's a lot of information for how to use uh, both die cut. And the local king's die cut does the die cut and the embossing. I'm going to use this ocean waves background. This is one of my favorite background. I use this one a lot. So this is the background stamp, and uh, you can do a lot of things. And it's just so easy, just uh, rubbing with some color and it look exactly like an ocean. We're going to need the, um, just uh, some cardstock. And my last tutorial, I thought I insert the measurement, but it uh, looked like it didn't go through. So I'm going to insert the measurement for the, the foundation again. And uh, I'm going to use the Local King's Magic Markers. You can use any water-based marker on the rubber stand. And uh, stand positioner, if you don't have it, make sure you watch the tutorial number uh, number 45. I, uh, in that tutorial, I'm showing you how to use a CD case or DVD case to create your own stand position. It costs you probably $1. And uh, some sharp um, knife and uh, uh, those kind of micro beads, I use a coupon as a master store, micro bee have a lot of nice little bee. That's uh, how I created this uh, wave noise. Isn't that awesome? And then this car, if you flatten them, um, they can actually fit in number, uh, number 10 envelope, those kind of regular envelopes. So 
that's uh, how you do that okay and then I am going to use a Gorilla mounting tape I was thinking this tape actually you know different store different prices so I am going to do some research on Amazon to find uh, what's a um, best price because I bought it from the hardware store is uh, $8.99 and I found that at our London drug like a drug store for $6.99 so that's Canadian dollars. You know, air, this is uh, for the mounting. And then uh, I was thinking that was expensive. And I said, but wait a minute, you know, a purple tape is uh, probably $5.99. So this is not expensive at all. But in my last tutorial, I was mentioning about a piece of purple tape from the hardware store that's called the Delicate Tape. It actually works pretty well. So if you are short of a masking tape, um, give it a try. But always use it um, with caution. Some, you just don't want to ruin your artwork. So white pigment impact. If you don't have a white pigment, you can use a Versa, uh, Versa mark. And I'm going to explain to you why I use the white pigment and the white embossing powder. I have a some starfish. Those are starfish, if you check uh, like a those are jewelry, uh, jewelry section, they are actually for making like an earring. So what I do is I just uh, trimming those uh, loop and then make a very beautiful em embellishment. So in this today, uh, today's tutorial, if anything I have been showing my previous tutorial, I'm going to just fast forward it. And if you have uh, any question, you know, um, on my uh, DVD library, once in a while I delete the old tutorial from the online DVD library. If you want to see all the tutorial, the best way is to go to the local King YouTube channel. There is a 146, 48 tutorial ready to view. And then plus I have more tutorial coming almost every week. Okay, so, and then of course in the inside this tutorial, I always share some great tips I found is very useful. I hope you like it. If you really do, Give me a thumb up, not the fingers. So that's a start today's tutorial and that's have fun. Okay, in my previous tutorial, I did 10 different kinds of uh, papers reveal. So if you are not sure which paper to, for what purpose, just make sure you watch that tutorial and here is a number of that tutorial. So in today's tutorial for this sea turtle, I am not using dog glossy, I actually use matte cardstock. And for the foundation, I'm using the Kenson watercolor. I just found out the Kenson watercolor that you can buy from Michael's. Sometimes they have a buy one, get a second one, 50% off, or buy two, get one free. So they are just perfect for uh, to do the blending. And uh, for the stamp positioner, I don't really use that magnet because I don't think they are strong enough. And usually they are on my way. So I just use a, a masking tape and then ta um, do that. Okay. So, this is something else. Have you find my sausage is a little bit different? I actually accidentally put that sausage in the garbage. I couldn't find it. This sausage is so cute. And some of you asked me, well, Lisa, would you create a sausage stamps? You know what? I love to create a sausage stamp. But what can the sausage stamp? What kind of car you can make? You look like sausage? I think people are going to be mad. You look delicious? You look hot in smoke. Hey, that's a good one. So if you can help me to leave me a comment, what would you use a sausage stamp and what kind of car you are going to make? I might create a sausage stamp. Maybe it's just a bonus. I'm going to just give it to you when you order any stamp. I don't know, but leave me a comment. Let me know what the sausage, what kind of cards the sausage yet, um, can, can work with the sausage image. Okay. So I'm going to do the coloring technique. Like I say, I'm using the mat. And remember, if you want to use a markers technique, you got to make sure you have a shadow stamp. If you don't have the shadow stamp, you only have the detail stamp. No matter how many color you color, you only end up to have an outline. You don't get a solid image. The reason they look uh, solid because that the outline they are white and the reverse. That's why any color when you put on a stamp, when you stand, it will transfer the paper. If you only have the regular stamp, um, I'm going to do a um, tutorial to do again, you know, remind people what's different with regular stand and detail stand. If you have a detail stand, you usually stand the outline you have to color in, which is awesome too. But is that you want something fast? Um, got to use the shadow stand. So I do have a 
60 color set, but I'm only going to use the 24 color set because not everybody have a 60 set, right? So 24 color is awesome. It's good enough to start because they are 24 colors, but you can blend it. And, and in today's tutorial, I am going to actually show a little bit blending. I usually don't spend too much time to uh, work on the coloring because I don't want people to think this need a skill. I want to show you no skill required. So usually I just like a color in this thing. But uh, now you probably already, you know, get used to how to color with a marker. There's a lot of advanced you can, it's depend on which car, like which person you are making um, the car for. If it's somebody very important for you, I will make a car something like this. If somebody not important to you, just make something, you know, like a 2D. Okay, so choosing the color is a good idea because the, on our package, there is some color for you already and then it gives you some idea. So don't make it complicated. Just try to stay with the three, four color, four maximum, light, medium, dark, and black. So let's start with the sea turtle and then I am going to just show you three color. One, two, uh, three and uh, a little bit black okay so that's just i have a three color black is a must have so uh ochre brown and this one that's it exchange to the darker purple okay this is full color is the color i'm going to use and those markers is heavy um heavy duty you can abuse that and in my previous tutorial i was actually showing you how to refill it so you don't have to worry about refill those markers at least for a few years, but if sometime you forgot to leave the, the, the cap and then they dry out, all you have to do is just remove the back and give a few drop of water. Okay, so that's just bring my camera a little bit for, forward it. Okay, that's good. Okay. So I'm gonna start with that sea turtle. So it's a good idea to take a look at your package. You know, sometimes when you buy the, buy the package, they use the airbrush to cover it, make the package so attractive. And then it's, um, you know, you cannot do it with just markers, no. So, but uh, Local King's the stamp. You see the color package like that, when you stamp it, it's going to look like that. Maybe slightly different, but I want to show you it's doable. Okay, so foundation color, I'm going to use the lightest color. I am going to cover all my sea turtles here. Okay, try to keep your line on the stamp. Okay, don't try to color with a uh, uh, marker on the stamp. Don't try to color with a line. You got to go like a piece by piece. And then, well, actually, that's it. Uh, I think that way you probably can. Can you see better? Okay, let's do this. And then I'm going to use the second color, it's a light brown. So it just kind of give it a little bit shading, any place you like. And it show the people always say, oh, you, you know what to do, you know where to put what color. So at the show, usually I just do with eyes club. So I use a lighter color, kind of blending two color, the light color and the dark color, kind of just a blending between. So that way you actually create an um, extra color, like a third color. So I use the brown color. You can try to practice a little bit on your right, uh, regular car stuff first before you use your glossy paper or your like good quality car stuff. Okay, so I color a little bit brown. So, so far I only use two colors, right? Now I'm going to use a little bit purple. When the purple meet, uh, mix with a brown, they actually create the darker brown. Okay, so it's awesome um, that you can blending all the color together. Okay, so, and then I'm going to just use a little bit black on the eye. Sometimes the show people say, where is the eye? Doesn't matter, just give him a big smoky eye somewhere around there. Okay, and then if you want to, don't be afraid to use the black. Give it some dotting. You know, have you seen the real scissor? I saw a few real sea turtle they are just beautiful creation one time i went to um cayman island we went to the turtle farm i saw the, the little turtle baby is like a two months old and i saw like 100 years old turtle it's like a huge they are just a beautiful creation okay so green color we're going to give a little bit seaweed here 
Okay, call it a seaweed. And then it dries a little on the rubber. You don't have to worry. And then you don't have to, you know, if I get a little bit green on the turtle, whoa, what's going to happen? Nothing going to happen. You know, you can give a little bit color, it's okay. So I do a little bit green, darker green. Okay, and then for the starfish, what color is the starfish? What, any color you like. I'm going to make my starfish a little bit orange, a little bit red. Just remember, lighter color, you color everywhere. And the darker color, you're going to reduce the area last and the last, okay? If you are already professional, you find this coloring boring, so please just fast forward it. Um, uh, you know, maybe some some of you guys already know how to do that. You don't want to watch this one. Yeah, so just uh, just fast forward. Okay, for the seashell, I am going to have a purple seashell. Why not? So light color and give a little bit magenta. Okay, let's do a little bit magenta. And I have the other seashell. I am going to do the red and brown. Okay. Why not? And then, so this is my red and what's going to be my darker color. I'm going to use a brown. Okay, and give me some dotting here. Don't be afraid for those uh, dotting. Okay, so that's it. And then I want to use the matte cardstock. I don't want to make it shiny. And uh, go to just a this away. So this is uh, the matte cardstock. Okay. Give a nice front. It's good to have a stem position. If you made a boo boo, you know, you can just go back to fix it. Um, if you don't have it, just be careful, okay? Just push hard. How do you like? Ta da! That's nice sea turtle, right? Okay, I am going to cut it and then I am going to need two of these image. So I'm going to just, uh, I already did one more. Okay, so I'm going, not going to repeat it, but I'm going to do the die cut. So that's uh, and uh, show you something about the die cut. Like I say, you know, every day I got some new uh, viewer. They probably don't know about uh, um, some of my technique. So if you haven't seen the, seen this tutorial, please uh, patient and just forward it. Okay, so. Remember, it's a good idea to use the masking um, guiding window. And because our die cut is so detailed, if you take a look at Local King's die cut, you will find out they barely have that white gap between the die cut line and uh, the stamp image. It's good to have that border line, but you don't want it too much. You know, if that border line is too much between the die cut line and your stamp image, it looks weird. But if they don't have it, that's weird too. So, okay, I'm going to use the purple tape and then just a tape a corner. I'm going to die cut it and I'm going to do embossing too. See, I did the die cut and I also did the embossing. Okay, so for the foundation base, instead of I do the whole car, I actually um, kind of just do like a half and a half. So it's a very simple technique. I just use the watercolor cancel paper and I use that wave, ocean wave background. So the ocean wave background, you can use a Versamark to do the clear embossing, but I want that white wave looks like really white. So instead of uh, um, Versamark, I actually use uh, the pigment white, the white, the color box, the pigment, and uh, when you use the pigment impact, the pigment impact is uh, capable to do the embossing. So that's why I use the pigment and just gently rubbing. Always rub your background stem first and then give it a gently tap. And this is actually not a really good uh, design because I have uh, no place to hold it. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, I have at least the impact for a while. So, okay, just make sure you, oh, I have to create a, a handle to do that. Okay, let's just do that. Okay, that's pretty good. 
And then this is the how I background I ink uh, ink my background stamp because they are big stamp. Usually, if the table is not completely flat, you probably just uh, missing a corner. So this way, I can avoid uh, oops happen. Okay, and then this is the um, white embossing. You cannot see right. And then I am going to just uh, hit embossing. Here is my embossing tools. To, yeah. So if you like to, you know, get more information, the little tips. This is a, I have the other tutorial. I'm going to uh, provide the numbers. There are ten different kind of good uh, tips for stamping. So I'm going to just fast forward, uh, and uh, you don't have to watch me how I emboss it, right? Okay, so I have a glue my foundation. So after you make this box, don't glue this one. Just um, tape the base, okay? And then just leave this one open. And then you can try to push it. It, it kind of feels a little bit against your way, but don't worry. Just uh, push down, push side. And then because if you are planning to send it to them, okay? Just uh, make sure they can be pushed down. Just uh, like doing exercise dog forward back forward just like this okay and then we're going to move to the next part so before we do that too I ask you to um to stamp two times so one of them I am actually going to trimming trimming it okay so you can take a look uh, um, in the back. It's actually very easy. If you want to trim like a whole section, they probably uh, be a little bit hard, right? But uh, so I just want to, you know, separate that two um, sea turtles and then put the one inside my shaking area. So just uh, kind of trimming it. Okay. And uh, so that's one. And I'm going to do that too. And I also going to lose those um, seashell and the starfish. Okay, so now we're going to move for our final step. We are going to working on this uh, shaker card, this uh, clear shaker card. So when I was making the first uh, car and uh, I put this uh, phone tape in the back, it was really ugly, right? And then I say, okay, how am I going to fix that one? So, and then my next tutorial, see, I don't see those phone tape anymore, right? And then because I found all this uh, Gorilla, Gorilla, Gorilla mounting tape, it's uh, clear and then they do have some kind of thickness, but the thickness is still not uh, thick enough to create a shaker card. So what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. So I have a two piece of acetate. One of the acetate is a four by seven inches. One, the other acetate is a four by six inches. So we're going to working on the four by six inches. And then we are going to double the thickness. How to do that? You probably need a ruler right in front of you. So this is a six inches, right? So we need uh, um, 12 inches. Okay, so I am going to just, and be careful, they are really sticky. If you want your finished job is nice, so you got to pay a little bit um, attention to the detail. So I just, uh, uh, they are double sided. So I'm going to just uh, use this tough long um, scissors so that way they don't stick. So I am going to just trimming around uh, 12 inches okay be very careful because if they touch each other goodbye to your gorilla tape okay and then be very careful you're going to just uh, folding them in half we're going to double the th thickness try to do your best okay to mount them together so now See, I double size my um, my mounting tape, right? And then you can just uh, um, just trimming the tape, that folding area. Okay, 
you know what? These small pieces don't put in the garbage. I'm gonna use it. So just put it some way safe. I'm gonna just put it on my corner of um, that. Okay, so this is actually the width is actually one inches. So I am going to because I, I I'm going to just cut in the half. Okay. Oh, you cannot see. Okay, here is the other gray tape for you. I have this knife probably five years ago. It's called Pain Blade. You can still find from Amazon, but they are pricey. And I really like them, but after I use for a while, they are not sharp, any sharp anymore. If you want to cut this mounting tape, you got to have a super sharp knife. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sharp myself. I have this in, um, for the nail, it's kind of the same surface. So I kind of just sharpening like that. That way, you are going to have a sharp knife again. Okay, so we are going to, if you are not sure what are you doing, you can, let me see if I can use this permanent impact uh, in, uh, marker to do the, um, yeah, they do, but I kind of don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to just use the mark, kind of mark the center. Okay, oh, this knife is so sharp now. Okay, so I am going to just put my ruler and then you're going to just cut it. The trick is don't expecting first cut, you're going to have a clean cut. The trick is you're going to cut one or two times. Okay, and then go back. Okay. okay, let's see, not deep enough. I think this is a steel. You know what? You should just use it like a like a regular craft knife. They will just do fine. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, more. I think that's this is just a blade. Okay, almost there. Just make sure you want to have a clean cut because we are created our own. Okay, so that's a strip. And I'm going to cut the other half. So after you cut it, you have to separate them. Don't try to keep them together. And then after you open the package, be careful. See, I just put this uh, tape on my table and the pick is on the side is very gluey too. So just uh, separate them and then I'm going to, let me see if I use a scissor, isn't that easy? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Actually, just if you have a pair of uh, uh, these Tuflin scissors, it's actually much easier um, compared with using a knife. So you, and then you can actually make measure the size much easier. See, there was just right in front of you, me. Why I use the complicated one? So I create my strip, right? And to make sure I don't put them together, I'm going to cut this one too. Okay, so I have my four strips there, right? And then they are double sided, so they are not sticky. Okay, now I remember I have a two piece acetate. One is the four by seven, one is the four by six. So you are going to working on the four by six one because the four by seven is going to just insert in the middle. So we don't need to make it too thick. Um, so that's why we need a four by six one. And then you are going to just uh, put your tape on top of the acetate and don't just remove one side. And I want to show you, um, you let's see which one you like the best. Okay. So this is my first uh, prototype. Okay. So what you can do is you can put that um, clear uh, uh, mounting tape right to the edge of your car 
or you can leave a little bit space between it doesn't really matter so you decide what do you want so this one I just put the right um, on the border of my acetate so you try to do your best and then when you remove this backing tape okay it's a good idea to have a tweezer and then don't just uh, pick up the whole whole things okay just uh, do one at a time so I am actually going to leave probably 0 um, 0.2 millimeter okay I'm going to show you do your best try to make your finished job as, ma as nice as you can okay so first one that looks not bad okay and then I'm going to do the second one okay so you're going to just connect if the the tip is not uh, so straight you can just trimming it and then that little piece is safe we can we're going to use it for something else okay always remember just move a little bit and then you have to give it connect exactly to this one so that way your micro B is not going to leak okay so see let's do that and then these uh, Teflon um, scissors highly recommended you can get the one pair from my course with a coupon too so and then see my this one is kind of too poking out you can just uh, um, kind of trimming it Again, that little piece is safe. Eh? We're going to do something with that too. So, did you get an idea? Just uh, um, seal it and uh, don't move the backing yet. Okay, if you move the backing, is uh, some something disaster going to happen? See, the tip is not a very straight corner. So I'm going to just uh, um, trimming it. Okay, just to start a little bit, you can leave a little bit gap. Okay, once when they are glue on top, and you can just remove a partial of the backing. Try to do a straight line. So this car is must be for somebody special. Okay, well, I always like to find out, are you, like, a, what's a, the car making for you? Are you enjoy making it or you like to give your friend what's the point i making car i like it and also because it's my business i i need to you know keep my um, business running so i make a car but i give it to my friends too so how about you are you making cards for for fun or what do you do with all the car okay that's just finish this one Okay. try to touch as last as you can and this one I actually kind of um, leave a little bit space between okay and until that one met the, the, the one side and you can trimming it so that's my shaker car the front okay so now I'm going to find the one my sea turtle here. So this one is going to be sitting there. So I want to one of my sea turtle in the back. So you decide which one you want to uh, do, like which direction you want to do, right? Okay, so I want to this direction. And then remember those little pieces that you save. So you're going to just put a little bit there. And then in the back, it's kind of hard to, or you can use a glue, glue, glue dots. Okay, so I have uh, my dots there, right? And then I'm kind of just want to see where I'm going to put my sea turtle there. So I'm going to put in this corner somewhere around, around there. So I'm going to just put somewhere there you can remove it if that's the place is not the place you want okay so just adjust it a little bit okay and then make sure this sea turtle is not on the your border way because we are going to mount like that right okay now the fun part is 
So the seashell, I'm going to put the own seashell inside and make sure the face dark because that's the right side, right? Now we are going to do the micro B. So this one I use a kind of turquoise. The other one I'm going to use a green. Okay, so here's the green and be careful and then you still haven't removed your backing yet, right? Don't remove your backing. If you review, remove your backing already, when you put the micro B, your B is going to stuck all on top and then that way you won't be able to seal it. So just shake, 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 and then shake a little bit. And then shake, 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 Okay, so kind of give it like a, um, I will say, if you have a container like this, kind of like a one-fifth. Okay, now you got to be very careful now. So this is an extra, you still can keep it for mounting purpose. Okay, and then you have your, this one handy. See the back um, is kind of clear. Clear is better than the like those kind of white foam, right? And then you're going to use the tweezer. Okay, be very careful. Don't sneeze. If you sneeze, you are going to have a hard time to find all your bees. If you don't believe me, you can give it a try. <gasps> I want to sneeze. <laughs> okay. <coughs> So be careful, be gentle. This is definitely not a car for your sister in law. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I have removed all my backing. Okay. And then remember this is size of four by seven, right? So you are going to depend on how you like to do. So you are going to try to, you know, hold it and then try to do as, as best as you can, okay? This is a handmade car, it's not machine made. But remember, once when you put it down, that's it. Good. Okay, and then you're going to seal it. Seal it, seal it. Make sure you seal it. How do you know to seal it? When you pick it up, if it's leaking, that means you are not sealed. That easy. Okay. They have some water bubble. <coughs> if you don't like it, you can squeeze it out. But I kind of find out they look awesome. Ta -da -da. Seeing true. So those uh, clear, um, clear mounting foam, it's okay. See, and then you just open it and then insert that, right? It looking good. Let me see. Looking good. And then now is the time you can put the tape. Okay, on that one inches area on the bottom. Front and the back. So, how do you like this project so far? Okay, would you like me to release the new release um, promotion June 15? Or you want to wait until July 1st. Okay. Let me know. The old shipment has arrived. Um, arrived. It's sitting at the uh, warehouse now. Just don't want to put you guys in the trouble. So let me know when you are ready. And uh, I will post all the stuff online. Okay. So you can push push. Dog forward, back forward, and then that's a basic car. Look the ocean wave. And the, my starfish in the sea, whatever. Okay, and now we are going to mounting that one. And the, remember those a few um, pieces, uh, um, that one, the way, the way we're trimming it. So, you don't want to use a foam tape, that's ugly, so we're going to use it. Just remember, um, remove the backing. Try to use as last as you can. Okay. 
And then the new design, like I say, they all have a something pop out, like this is a sea turtle. You can kind of like a, um, bend it a little bit. And then they all have a some dot in the back and they did embossing. Okay, and then you are going to just mount on top and they see the back. It's still showing some glue, but so I think maybe you should use the glue dust better. But that's okay. What you can do is you, you can call it, you can cover from the back or you know, just just doesn't matter. Like if you put it on the table, just put your system on there. Or I have a, some um, starfish you found the sea life die cut, like sea life set. So I can just uh, cut some paper uh, starfish to put in the back. If that doesn't really is it really bothers you, but it really doesn't bother me. So and then I have the other sea turtle here. So you can put any direction you like. Okay. Or what you can do is you can. Um, bang over okay decorate that one so whatever you like so I'm going to just use the phone tape to to tape this one and I'm going to just uh, um, use this starfish kind of break that the you know if you this uh, kind of clear like a mountain friend is still kind of visible I don't think so we can find anything else to to do the clear shaker card but once when you add the sound starfish you put a little bit seaweed or uh, try to break that line it's not going to be that up obviously so just kind of try to hide it okay so this is what I was talking about. I have a least starfish die cut from the sea life. See now I just put some um, those die cut and uh, hiding those uh, clear mouthful if that really bothers you. And then I have some extra. I kind of just give a little bit touch around the border so that way that um, clear mountain foam is uh, less uh, uh, disturbed. So. To our sea turtle lovers, I hope you like this car. If you like this car, remember give me a thumb up. And uh, if you don't like it, you have to give me a thumb up too. Just don't give me a finger. So this is the car that you can hear the ocean. Okay, so that's today's tutorial. I hope you like it and uh, I'm working on, on, on more tutorial and uh, thank you for watching. This is Lisa from Local King Rubber Stand. See you next time. Bye-bye.